So reselling sneakers online can get a little bit expensive, especially if you don't know what you're doing or where to get your supplies from. But after reselling for six years, I can finally share with you guys everything that I do to save money and maximize my profits when reselling online. Now to start off, what does it take to ship out a sneaker? Well, it takes a lot of different components. For example, you have a shipping box, you have a shipping label, you have tape. And you know, sometimes you might include bubble wrap if you want to be extra safe, depending on what sneaker you're shipping. Have I used it before? I have. And I'll tell you guys a little bit about that when I get to it. So to start this off, the number one thing you need to ship out a sneaker, or ship out any package really, is a shipping label. Now along with shipping boxes, shipping label is the most important thing that you need to be able to consider before you even ship out a product. Otherwise, how are you going to ship it out, right? So the shipping label is the number one thing that I always try to save money on, because those things can get expensive. Now when I first started reselling sneakers my first pair of Jordans that I ever sold on eBay was my first time ever shipping something out like ever like not even not just the shoe itself but like I've never shipped or experienced anything that involved shipping out something through USPS or anywhere else so I thought the only way to buy a shipping label was to go in store wait in line I know you guys know that USPS can get a little bit crowded especially throughout the week but it wasn't until that day that same day my first item ever that the lady that worked at USPS told me that Shipping labels are much cheaper online versus going in store and buying the shipping label and doing the whole process in there. And so ever since I've been buying my shipping labels online on USPS.com, it's very easy and simple. You don't need a lot of things. Obviously you do need to create an account which can be a little time consuming I think because maybe mine took a little bit or some some while to create. I don't know. I, I do remember it was a pretty long process because they want to verify you, your identity, you know, all that stuff to make sure you're not doing anything illegal, which, you know, makes sense. So when buying labels online, I generally always choose Priority Mail. I mean, that's pretty much all they even offer. So, but I always go for Priority Mail. I don't really do Express unless it's going to be international or someone really paid for, you know, an Express label. So the cool thing about USPS is that with Priority Mail, things do arrive within one to three business days. Even before when they offered regular mail, I always paid the extra price to make sure my customers were always happy getting their items as quick as they can for at least me an affordable price. By far, I think buying labels online for USPS is the easiest. I purchased labels for, from UPS in person, in store, and those things can get really expensive. So I would definitely not recommend using UPS if you are selling online. USPS for an individual, not a business, because if you have a business account for UPS, you can get really cheap labels, but as an individual like me, I can use USPS and save money with all the labels that I need to create. So along with shipping labels, there's also an option to add insurance. Now, is it worth it? I don't typically add insurance unless the product retails at more than $300 USD. Now, the reason is because USPS only covers the actual price of the item if it were to get damaged, stolen, or you know, whatever, just disappears. Now, have I ever gone through a claim? I haven't. So I don't know how that process really works, but I do always add it either way. I'd rather spend the extra $7 or so, because I would rather spend the $7 to make my $300 back in case my product were to get damaged or whatsoever. So that's just my rule of thumb. Everyone's different, everyone uses it differently but that's just what I do personally. But now buying labels doesn't really matter, especially if you are selling on StockX or Go or any other platform that you're using to sell your sneakers or items. Packaging, I think, is the most important because it's really hard to find the perfect box, just like pants, I think. You know, everyone has a different brand, model, whatever for pants because they all fit differently for everybody, especially like me, because I'm a little thick, you know, got them, got them Shakira hips. I recently, after years of looking for boxes at different stores, different retailers, online, in-store, I finally was able to find the perfect box for any sneaker that I ever run into. So it wasn't until I came across the time that I needed to go to an office supply store and the only one near me was Staples. I've gone to so many other supply stores that they all have different sizes and that just always had to buy a box, try it out, and if it didn't work, I had to go back, buy another one. You know, it was just a hassle to be able to find the perfect box that can securely ship your sneakers. So at Staples, they do sell these boxes that fit perfectly for any sneaker. I'm telling you, like any sneaker. And the reason why they work for almost every sneaker is because they have these foldable sections where you can cut up into and fold the box if you need to, especially if it's too high or you know if the sneaker's not big enough for it to securely not move around. And so that is why this is my favorite box to use from every other box that I've ever used because they're just adjustable. And I'm always using that feature no matter what shoe I'm shipping out. And the goal with shipping boxes is to always have your sneaker as tight as possible in the box so that it doesn't jiggle around or you know move around and get damaged inside. Or, you know, who knows what can happen with all that extra space in the box. So that's why I like using Staples boxes. 
And plus, if you buy more than five, I think it's more than five, you end up getting this buy more, save more type of deal. And as you can see my receipt here, I saved like 50% from each box that I purchased. I purchased seven of them and they came out to about like $1.50 for each box. So that to me is a steal. Especially because I can use this with any other sneaker that I have in my inventory and not have to worry about going back to the store and buying different sizes for different shoes and different boxes. So yeah, that's the shipping box that I use and I would definitely recommend to any of you guys. Now, I'm pretty sure it will be really difficult unless, you know, you find some weird way, but it'll be really difficult to ship out anything without using tape. So with tape, I've also found a way to save money on it and be able to buy in bulk. Originally, when I first started looking out for tape, I thought that Office Depot offered the cheapest price for their packaged scotch tape. But then after looking online and looking on Amazon, I realized that it's a lot cheaper and I've been buying my tape from there ever since. So definitely buy it from Amazon and if you have Prime, I would definitely use that to your advantage. Now it is three inch, so wherever you buy from, I do use a three inch thickness of scotch tape. So, you know, you could pretty much use whatever brand, it's up to you, but this is what I use specifically. And along with tape, I also have my tape gun here. And the reason why I use a tape gun is because I know some of you might know this actually that after you lose the, you know, the start of the tape and you get a little hard to be able to find it again, especially because it's clear. So I didn't want to, you know, keep wasting time peeling it away and stuff. So instead, I invested into a time gun, a time gun, a tape gun. And you can definitely find these also cheaper on Amazon. And that's where I bought mine. If you don't have a staples near you or you can't find any of these adjustable boxes anywhere, I would probably recommend you to invest into bubble wrap. Now, like I said before, having a lot of space in your box can really risk damaging the box and therefore either you know the platform that you use to sell or the seller that you sold it directly to can complain and then you have to pay for their, you know shipping label again and it's just it can get costly if you don't safely secure your package and you don't really want them. so to avoid that i would definitely invest to bubble wrap i don't really use bubble wrap unless i really have a lot of space in my box this is like my last resort if anything if i can't find a perfect box or if i run out of box and i have a bigger one that i have to use I will definitely turn into bubble wrapping it. Now I did buy this at Office Depot like a long time ago and I've had this just sitting around and I've had this just sitting around for those times that I really do need it. Now is this the cheapest option to go to Office Depot? I don't know, I don't really shop for bubble wrap but I just bought mine from there. I'm pretty sure you can probably find some on Amazon or any other department store for a cheaper price and get more out of it too. And so whether you're selling online through someone directly or using a platform like StockX or Goat, you still have to print the shipping label, right? So I've always used my own printer that I have at home for shipping labels. I don't really have any dedicated shipping label printer like this one that you see right here. Obviously it's nice to have because you just, you know, peel it away and slap it onto your box. You don't have to tape anything, but I've always just printed out my, my shipping label, folded it accordingly and just pasted it on my box using tape. Whoa, I tried to pick up my gun, but it failed. But yeah, I mean, not my, not my, like this gun. I don't want you guys tripping out. Yeah. And so there you have it. That's all the components that I use to ship out products online and be able to do it efficiently, safely, and also with a budget. Please comment down below and share with us on how you ship out your items online. Also, one more thing, I know you guys haven't seen Daniel lately, especially in his last videos. He's not gone, he's just busy, he doesn't have enough time as he's used to. He just started college, by the way. Summer school can get pretty heavy and hefty, so he's you know a little busy man, but I also wanna let you guys know that we're doing two uploads a week now. We haven't decided on the day yet, but once you see the upload during this week, that will be the day that we always constantly be doing it. We're still sticking to the Monday every single week, but there is gonna be a second day now, along with our live stream. So there's a lot of content for you guys to come out. And I'm very excited for that because we have a lot of things to show you guys from here on out. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you guys to save more money, be more profitable when reselling sneakers. So if you did like this video, please smack that like button. And if you haven't, Join the family down below, subscribe, and join our Discord if you haven't already. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.